It's a storm like I've never seen before. If we don't do something quick, who are gonna sink? Before Jaws. Somebody up there must be really upset with somebody down here. I admit it, it's my fault. Before 20,000 leagues under the sea. I'm afraid the only thing left is to be thrown into the sea. Uh, you don't have to do that. We got a plank. You can just walk off. Yes, thank you. Before Free Willy. The biggest fish story of all time. Big Ideas Jonah, a Veggie Tales movie. Only in theaters 2002. Holy mackerel! Yes! More adventure. <gasps> More fun. <laughs> More penguins. Drum roll, please. Three, two, one, penguins. The amazing carnival of complaining. Coming this fall, only from Big Idea. This is Stranded Space Commander Jason T. Conrad reporting from Planet Grandmom's house. Along with your hostess for today's tea party, Michelle Conrad. Uh, disregard the preceding transmission, Starbase. Unless you need a fashion consultant to coordinate your ship's interior. Cut it out, Michelle, and stop dressing those penguin toys in your doll's clothes. Look, I found the penguin toy. Why don't you just play with that spaceship you found in the attic? Affirmative, Starbase. Explore new alien life forms discovered here, a crew of space penguins, and their spaceship. Who look like they could use another spot of tea. Here you are, gentlemen. Urgent report. We're in a jam here, Starbase. The video receiver unit is disabled, and the resident alien grandmother being has only strange food for provisions. Request permission to continue on to Destination Space Camp for the summer. Over. Mom said you could go to Space Camp after they get back from their trip. Roger that, Starbase. I'll use my survival training for the summer here with Space Stewardess Michelle. Space Flight Attendant Michelle. Along with our newfound spacecraft and crewmates. You know, Starbase, it might not be that bad of a summer after all. This is Commander Conrad, over and out. <laughs> Sing a little song with eight little words about a rocket ship and flightless birds. Hey, Joe. Kevin. Whopper dingy to D1. Squid Hopper. Yes, four in a row. And that ties it up two games apiece. Not so fast. I get to use my Squid Hopper. This could decide it, folks. That's pretty annoying, you know. Do you have to do it every time? That's right. The championship comes down to this last move. Yeah. You found me squid tag toad. Yep. I love this game, Grandma. Oh, I don't blame you, love. Nothing like a good tournament of squid tag toad. You know, your granddad got that for me on our fifth anniversary when we was down under in Bullamanka. Down under what? It means Australia. He and I would hold our own squid tag toad tournaments just around this time of year. Oh, if only you could see his two grandkids playing the squid tack toad he got for me on our fifth anniversary down under in Bullamanka. Oh, well, good 
good memories, all that matters. So, how's the tournament coming? Michelle just tied us at two games each. That means just one more to go, and I'll be the champion. Oh, the summer games. Well, I'm sure you're both jolly good opponents, but truth be known, I think the females got the upper hand in this game. What? Why is that? Don't know, really. Suppose it could be that dainty fingers are better for the spinners. Well, we'll see about that. Let's go, Michelle. For the championship. Exciting spin. A hush falls over the crowd. Drum roll, please. Oh, hi there, Pidgeot. Huh? Okay, okay. I know you don't believe me about them being alive and all, but you don't have to keep making fun of me, too. Huh? Yes. That's so close. Well, you're officially Squid Tack Toad Champ. Must be those dainty fingers. Yep, must be. It was a tense battle, but through cunning strategy and sheer skill, I emerged victorious. Well, sure luck anyway. Nice tournament, Champ. What? Don't look at me like that. I didn't do anything. I'm the champ. I didn't cheat. Well, of course you didn't cheat, dearie. Huh? You know better than that. Grandma. You know what the good book says about cheating, don't you? The Lord hates cheating scales, but accurate weights are his delight. I don't know what that means. Say, um... Oh, say I take five pounds of socks to the laundry, but the chap of the laundrette fixes the scales so it says I've got ten pounds. Now I've got to pay him double for washing me socks. That's a cheating scale. It's like stealing. But these aren't socks. It's the same with playing a game, except instead of cheating someone out of their money, you're cheating them out of the good feeling they get from winning fair and square. And you don't really win, do you, love? When you cheat, Everyone loses. That's why God loves it when we play fair. Everyone wins. Not many feelings better than winning fair and square. Hmm? Oh. Well, congratulations on your victory. Oh, sounds like me lemon sponge is ready. I didn't cheat. I just bent the rules a little. <laughs> Michelle Francis Conrad. Uh, Jason, it's for you. Not so fast. You're the one we need this time. Jason was right. You guys are alive. Either that or you're daydreaming. Whoa, deja vu. Dr. Fidgel, Galizor. Right away, Captain. Hang on. <laughs> Duplicate of your brother, only with pigtails. We're we're not identical twins. We're just the same age. Well, I'm I'm five minutes older, but there's no pigeon and no glasses. Wait a minute, Pidgeol, you missed the glasses. Right. Sorry. Oh, and don't worry about the glasses. Really, I don't need them. Sure you do, kid. You gotta wear your glasses. Unless they leave red marks on your beak. Oh, let me 
make me look silly. See that? They make me look silly. Uh, I mean, they make her look silly. Nonsense. I'm sure she looks just smashing. Well, crew, why don't we save the chit-chat for our next tea party? Right now, we've got a bandicoot to save. Right. right. Hang on! Bonsai! Okay, let's make the briefing... Uh... Brief? Yes, well... <clears throat> I'm... Let me guess. You're, uh... Nigel! What? No, actually... Nigel! Yeah? But I'm... Captain. Huh? Who? Fidgel. Fidgel? No. Zigel. Zigel. I'm Fidgel. No, 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 no. Uh, Midgel. Me? No. no. Fidgel. Zigel. Huh? And that's Kevin! to meet you all. My brother has told me a lot about you. All good, I hope. <laughs> uh, anyway, look, Michelle, we got word of a problem at the Colossal Aussie Coliseum on Space Base Bulamanca. Co Colossia Aussie? Out, back, down, under, counter, clockwise. We received a strange distress call from the King of the Bandicoots. Bandicoots! He is hosting the Royal Grand Tournament of one of their local traditional games. However, it seems the final championship game has been suspended under some kind of protest. And we've been instructed to go and help sort things out. Yes, as ombudsmen. Ombudsmen, a group sent to help settle an argument. Wow, so let's get on with the mission. Buckle up for landing, everyone. Whoa, slow down there, Missy. I don't think you have a full appreciation of the demands of space travel. It's much... <laughs> Sorry. As I was saying, space travel can take hours, days, even several days. It's not like in those TV shows where they just go zipping around. Coming up on Bulamenka. Uh, buckle up for landing, everyone. <laughs> Say, that terrain looks pretty rough. Uh, what's the landing approach protocol for this scenario? Engage landing gear. Engaging landing gear. Fantastic. First try of the new landing gear. I hope it works. You mean you've never tested it? Tested? Tested? Tested. I like your pigtail. When's tea? Nigel, you're a genius. Smoothest landing yet. Like butter. Why, thank you. You're all too kind. What, did the landing gear break off? Identical. Oi, penguins, you can't just lob in on our tournament here. <laughs> Easy there, my good lizard. We've come only to arbitrate the contest. You tell him to let me out of his cage. I'm endangered, mate. Who said that? Never you mind, because you're too late. The game has been won, and I'm the new champ. And as I am the new champ, I'm taking my right as champ to drop the loser's pieces down the as is my right. Hang on a dick, he's cheating. Boy, you. 
that was freaky. Hold it. If you're the winner, where's the other player? Over here, mate. I don't want to be sent down the gurgler. How did he get in that cage? I was winning, and those blokes stuck me in here. That lizard's a chair. As you can plainly see, there's no opponent over there. The game is over. I win by forfeit. But that doesn't make any sense. Whoa, slow down there, Missy. I think this gentleman understands the rules of the game. After all, he is the champion. Penguin, huddle. Um, right. Uh, huddle up, everybody. Okay. So, uh, what do we do? Well, you know, no job's too hard when you use... I recognize what it is they're playing. It's a great big version of Squid Tac Toad. I've played it before. Actually, back on Earth, I'm the champion. Champion? Uh, yeah, champion. Plus, I'm a girl. I have the upper hand. Well, that may be, Michelle. But... Michelle? Michelle the champion? Hey! You can't peek into our huddle. That's cheating. Well, I'm a great admirer of yours, Michelle. Your fame as a squid tech toad player is known throughout the galaxy. It is? I study your tactics. I know of your strategies. I must say, I'm impressed. You are? Impressed? but not intimidating, because I myself am of champion caliber as well. I know what you're thinking, but he's not a girl. How could he ever become champ? Or have exquisite feet? Well, Michelle, how's about a game? Double or nothing. What? You win, everyone goes free. I win, all the captured pieces take a trip down the curve. Just what does that mean, exactly? It means you'll never see them again! Now, see here! Hello. Yes, right. Okay, then. Uh, we'll be right with you. What do you think? Can you take him? I don't think we've got much choice now, do we? You can do it, Michelle. We believe in you. Okay, I'll do it. I think I could take him. I've got to save the Bandicoot King of Bolamenka from going down the gurgler. Yeah, yeah Michelle! So, you're gonna give it a bash then, eh? That's right. Where are my game pieces? Well, I've got most of mine. But seems most of yours are up there. And as anyone knows, an unarmed opponent means a forfeit. It also means I win again. What? I'm still reigning champ, and it looks like you're up the gum tree. Sorry, Michelle. It's all to you too, Mr. Bandicoot. Wait! I... I'll find my own pieces. Now, uh, where in the galaxy are you gonna find three more red natives? You'll need another squid hopper. The games begin! Dip to D3. Well, I can see that I'm dealing with a formidable opponent. Yellow capped Whopper Dingy to B2. Toad Roller. Oops, sorry. 
It's a didgeridoo! Oh, no. Wait a minute, he cheated. I saw him. Hold on there, lizard. There will be no talking about the game pieces. Whoa. Hey, hey, not so fast. But I saw it. Son! Good on you. Five in a row. That's game. Say good day, mate. Proceedings, eh? Well, you can't hold up that kite forever, Squiddy. So how's about I help speed things along? Wait! Uh, uh... The Lord hates cheating scales, but accurate weights are his delight. I don't know what that means. No, wait! Listen to me! If you've got five pounds of socks in a 10-pound basket. Well, where are you? When you cheat, you're taking something that isn't yours. Not only are you taking away my chance to win the game and save my friends, you're also taking away your own chance to win the game fair and square, to be a real champion. God loves it when we play fair. That way everyone wins. And there aren't many feelings better than winning fair and square. <laughs> you know, 
You've got something there, Missy. I've won a lot of games by cheating, but of all the things it's got me, a good feeling wasn't one of them. The only way to really be a winner is to play by the rules. Well then, how's about another game then, mate? This time, on the level. Reset the playing field. about the cheat, mate. No worries, mate. Well done, Michelle. Say, how do you like the redhead look? Eh, two woodpecker. Stardate Saturday. The Bandicoot King of Bulamaca has been saved thanks to Michelle's excellent game playing skills and her wonderful oratory on playing by the rules. Uh, hold on, Stardate. For someone who just saved an endangered king, you're looking a little blue. Oxygen levels okay? It's just that, well, I'm not really feeling like a champion. And why is that? Well, it's not the oxygen levels, I can assure you. It's probably because when Jason and I played the final championship game, I cheated to win. <gasps> Oop, there they go. I just really wanted to win that last game against Jason. But afterwards, the more I thought about it, the worse I felt about the tournament, Jason, everything. You know, Michelle, we had a saying back at the academy. Cheating always. Uh, oh, okay. How did that go? Uh, right. Cheating never. Uh, no, wait, that's not it. Uh, let's see. Uh, hmm. Ah, when a cheater cheats, the cheaty. Uh, I think oh, I know what I need to what do. Is cheater, cheater, cheater. Uh, cheatery. Ah, whoa. whoa! Hey there, champ. You seen that toy spaceship anywhere? You mean the penguin ship? Yeah, it's... Wait a minute. I thought... Jason, I've learned a thing or two. Hmm. Wasn't it cool? All right, my loves. Lights out. Don't forget to say your prayers. Dear God, thank you for Mom and Dad and keep them safe on their trip. And for Grandma, and for the penguins, and for the squid tack toad game, even though Michelle is the champ. Uh, Jason? Yeah? About that game, I'm not really the champ. What? I cheated, but I learned a lot about playing by the rules with the penguins. Oh. I'm sorry, will you forgive me? Uh, sure. But you know what this means? What? Rematch after breakfast. You're on. And thanks for teaching me that I need to play fair and square. And, and help, help me to beat your show. Amen.
Right, that was the Link for the Manic and Rusty. And appearing next on stage here at the Fabulous Comic Lounge, their very first appearance anywhere, it's a small group of penguins. From the four pegs in a row that he's saved your battleship. And you're telling her to go fish. It ain't going like you planned. Cause the hearts that she just asked for are beaten in your hand. Oh, you, you hate, hate to be the loser. So you always gotta win. But I'm telling you, son, playing ain't no fun with a cheating champion. Yeah, take another look at the good book. God wants us to play fair. Yeah, winning is for losers. Cause Mrs. White's in the ballroom with a brick And you move your bishop sideways Hey, so your punk can steal my queen Ooh, nah, I ain't staying with your dirty plane It's the worst I've ever seen Oh, you hate to be the loser So you always gotta win But I'm telling you, son, playing ain't no fun With a cheating champion, yeah Take another look at the good book God wants us to play fair, yeah Winning is for losers Unless it's fair and square. Yeah, winning is for losers. Unless it's fair and square. Yeah! Come on, go!
You love silly songs, so Big Idea Productions presents the ultimate silly song countdown. One video with the 10 silliest silly songs of all time. But here's a question, which 10 silly songs are the silliest? And which one silly song is the silliest silly song of all time? The hairbrush song? Oh, where is my hairbrush? The cheeseburger song? The yodeling veterinarian of the Alps? It's been decided. The votes are in, the choice has been made, the results are final. We ask Silly Song fans around the globe to cast their votes and we have a winner. And the only way to find out which Silly Song is number one is to see the countdown for yourself. See the amazing contraption of silliness tabulate the vote. Watch those lazy pirates do, well, something by hosting the Countdown Extravaganza. Dance the Mushu with Larry and Mr. Luck. And let the countdown begin. Sing cucumber. Sing cucumber. Sing, sing, yeah.